Hi guys, welcome again to my channel. Today I have a new Illumicrate unboxing for you guys because I have here the uh, November edition which was Spellbinding Stories I think it was and um, it's quite heavy and from what I remember from the spoiler card there aren't isn't one but two books in this one so yeah really curious to see what kind of magic is in this one but first of all, if you're new to my channel, hi, welcome to Quill Scene. My name is Megan, and if you like things that have to do with books, with Harry Potter, with magic, with Disney, with Star Wars, with anything geeky and writing related, basically, you're in the right place. Make sure to click on the magical subscribe button and hit that bell. And on that way, you'll always get a notification whenever I upload something new. But uh, yeah, I guess it's time to grab our witch's hats, our brooms and our spell books because we're going to see what Spellbinding Stories is all about. As usual, before we start, a little bit more information about this subscription box. Illumicrate is a book subscription that is monthly and is based in the UK. Um, they, as I said, do a book box every month with a theme. Um, in each box is at least one book, sometimes two books, as in this one, um, together with some uh, items that are made by um, all sorts of small shops that also fit the team. Um, they also sometimes do special editions of really popular books. Um, but yeah, that one you have to see on uh, their website, which I'll link down below, by the way. Um, what you also can expect from Illumicrate is that the book that comes in it has usually an exclusive cover, sprayed edges, is signed. So yeah, it's really a collector's item, uh, the book itself. As I said for November, uh, this edition is called Spellbinding Stories for which I'm really excited because I love fantasy, I love witchcraft, I love wicca, I love magic. I'm also a wiccan myself, you know, a witch. So um, yeah, really curious to see what's in this. So without further ado, time for a sneak peek. So we have the normal yellow Illumicrate box and when we open it, we of course see first of all the spoiler card which says Spellbinding Stories November 2020 and underneath that are all sorts of items hidden. So as I said the first thing we see of course is this uh, spoiler card. Um, in between the pages is all what's in this box and on the back is already uh, more information about the team for December. So I'm going to put this one aside but we'll get to that again at the end of the video. Uh, then I see already a book pouch, which is like this. Illumicrate has uh, their own book pouches in which they provide the books, but I like to keep the books as lost, so I'm going to put this one uh, aside till near the end, and with the other book probably. Um, so the first thing I see after that is this. I can feel it's it's kind of soft, so I think it's wrapped in bubble wrap. And uh, do I have my scissors? I have my scissors. <laughs> okay, let's carefully open this. Well, carefully. Let's just open it. Uh, it was indeed bubble wrap because it is something ceramic inside. Okay, so this is what's inside of um, the box and um, uh, bubble wrap. It's actually a ceramic pot that you can use as, yeah, I think you can even put um, flowers or plants in it, though I wouldn't recommend it. There's something that my mom always told me is um, that with flowers, when you plant flowers or plants in a pot, you always have to make sure that it's a pot with holes in the bottom and underneath that um, is you should put a saucer or something where you put in the water and on that way your plants um, can draw the water f uh, from the saucer beneath uh, through those holes and when you water them around the 
uh, water that is too much goes back, flows into the saucer because if you give your plants too much water, they drown and they also die. So um, personally, I wouldn't use it for, you know, flowers or plants or something, but it's cool to put pants in, to put bookmarks in, and I love the fact that it is a folio of forgotten fables and folklore and it has even, I think it's, is it gold or... Yeah, it's golden foiling. And then on the back we have uh, a triquatra, which is also the sign of charm, by the way. And it says a compendium of whispered tales between worlds. And this is uh, the back of it. Really, really love it, especially since it's shaped like a book. Would look really cool on any desk in any bookshelf. So uh, yeah, really like this and I think if I show this to my mom she'll like this too. So uh, yeah, can't wait to put it somewhere. Really gorgeous display items. So yeah, nice start to the box already. Uh, then we have... <laughs> okay, something very fitting for... Um, this period of time we have a face mask um, and it's a reusable face cover to be precise and from what I can see just through the plastic like this it has like leaves on it and moons and stars which is of course very magical let's see if I can open it Ooh. Put the plastic aside. Oh wow! Okay, I like it. So as I said, it has um, leaves and such on it. We have also a bit of stars and moons and even half sun. And it's very, very soft. The inside is like this breathing material. Um, it has a nice uh, nose bridge because sometimes uh, I find some masks are too straightforward. I like the ones that you know have like a little pocket for your nose and then um, the drawstrings have like these rubbers on it so that you can adjust the size. So yeah, real love this one. I have collected a lot of face masks over the past few months. I even got one with a Santa Claus on it uh, for during the uh, holidays. So um, yeah, this one will be added to the collection and indeed it's very magical because as a witch um, you use a lot of herbs during your uh, rituals and during your spells. So yeah, really really nice. Uh, what do we do next? Oh, I have a little white envelope like pouch with an Illumocrate sticker. Let's rip that open. Oh, I've... It's something metal and from... Could it be a bookmark? Oh no, it's not a bookmark. It's an ornament to put in your Christmas tree. Oh wow. So it's a metal ornament which forms a circle with... Um, yeah, uh, how do you call that? In English, I forgot the word. It's on the tip of my tongue. Uh, hourglass, that was it. Because in um, Dutch we call it a sand, uh, a sand, yeah, a zandloper, which is literally translated a sand walker. So that's why <laughs> I'm a bit confused. Um, there are letters on it. Books are letters in bottles, cast into the waves of time. From one person trying to save the world to another. Oh, this one is really cool. Yeah, I can I can see because I'm already planning. I know Christmas just passed, but I'm already planning um, my Christmas tree because I'm getting my own Christmas tree next year in my workspace. And I was planning to make it like a magical tree with lots of Harry Potter things in it, but this one will look pretty in it too. So yeah. Really nice ornament. And then do we have something else on the side? Yes, another 
a paper pouch. Let's see. Could this be the pin? I think this is the monthly pin. It is indeed the monthly pin, and it is. Ooh. Okay. It's a book with a lock on it, so I guess it's a diary. And on the front it says the world, the words and the way. Really, really cool. And it is inspired by the Once and Future Witches. If I'm not mistaken, there was like some um, freebies in uh, the previous Illumicrate of this book. So yeah, uh, I guess that's the book that's still inside the box. Uh, because I remember saying back then that that book really sounded cool. So um, let's see. Because the book is wrapped in another item of the box, being this stunning, I think it's faux leather, I don't know, because it's, it's a laterally like material, which shows a library at night and someone who is reading late. And yeah, and this is what's inside of it. I can already see red sprayed edges. So the first thing we have is this. That's, these are papers and in golden foil. And uh, they're, I think, stickers because it says Ex Libris. And Ex Libris is the, um, basically the Latin term for your own library. So uh, basically what's the meaning of this is that you put these in your books and that you write your name on uh, the little line over there. And on that way, um, whenever you, you know, loan a book to someone, if you loan a book to someone, they know it, the book actually belongs to you. But now, time for the book. Well, like this. <laughs> So yeah, the cover is, if I'm not mistaken, the same as um, the normal edition because um, I'm going to put my beautiful pouch book sleeve on the side. Um, but it's a hardback. This is the dust jacket. And when we take the dust jacket off, we have a normal um, black hardback, which in silver foiling on the back the title and the author's name we have red sprayed edges we have an exclusive hardback published by Illumicrate and of course the um, signature of the author who is Alex E. Harrow so yeah really really cool um, as I said, there were some freebies in the previous book, uh, in the previous box, which was, I think, a flyer, um, then a booklet with a, a teaser of the book in it, and uh, a matching bookmark. So yeah, now I have the book to match. Um, let's quickly read what this book is about. I am terrified and I am terrible. I am fearful and I am something to be feared. In 1893, there's no such thing as witches. There used to be, in the wild, dark days before the burning began, but now witching is nothing but tidy charms and nursery rhymes. In the modern woman, if the modern woman wants any measure of power, she must find it at the ballot box. But when the Eastwood sisters, James Juniper, Agnes Amaranth, and Beatrice Belladonna join the suffragettes of New Salem, they begin to pursue the forgotten words and ways that might turn the women's movement into the witches' movement. Stalked by shadows and sickness, hunted by forces that will not suffer a witch to vote, and perhaps not even to live, the sisters will need to delve into the oldest magics, draw new alliances and heal the bond between them if they want to survive. There's no such thing as witches, but there will be. Ooh, yes, this one sounds so cool because, you know, you always have, have the, the idea of there are witches, but they have to be burned. And now it's like, you know, the whole 
women's movement and getting women to vote and the suffragettes and now that combined with which she thinks yeah really really cool can't wait to read this book um, but as I said this one was actually the head book of the box um, but we also have still this Illumicrate pouch which has a paperback in it which is the second book that they um, promised to be in this box and that one is, ooh, I like, I already like the cover. Ooh. It is called Legend Born by Tracy Dion. A searing modern tale of grief, power, and self-discovery. Ooh, this one isn't signed, I think. No, so it's just uh, the paperback. Let's quickly read what this one is about. Some legacies are meant to be broken. After her mother dies in an accident, 16-year-old Brie Matthews wants to escape. A residential program for bright high schoolers seems like a perfect opportunity, until she witnesses a magical attack her on her very first night on campus. A flying demon feeding on human energies, a secret society of so-called legendborn that hunt the creature down. A mysterious mage who calls himself a Merlin and who attempts and fails to wipe Bree's memory of everything she saw. The mage's failure unlocks Bree's own unique magic and a bu buried memory from the night her mother died. Now Bree will do whatever it takes to discover the truth, even infiltrate the Legendborn. But when the Legendborn reveal themselves as the descendants of King Arthur's knights and foretell a magical war, Bree must decide how far she'll go from the truth. Should she, should she use her magic to take the society down? Or should she join the fight? Oh my god, this one also sounds really cool because uh, one, it has magic and two, it's inspired on the legend of King Arthur. And I love that. I love that myth because um, as I said, my name, Megan, well, my real name, Megan, is um, actually the original Celtic version of Megan. So, um, yeah, <laughs> I always had like a little fascination with Druids and Merlin and King Arthur and such. So yeah, really, really uh, can't wait to read these books <laughs> if I find time. I'm telling you my every month with these book boxes, my to be read keeps growing and keeps growing and especially now with English books. So yeah, but still really cool. Um, that was everything in the box. I'm going to put my Illumicrate pouch back down. Um, so yeah, time to check the spoiler sheet, I guess, which is this one. Um, first of all, in this Spellbinding Stories box, we got this very beautiful ceramic book pot. The Forgotten Fables and Folklore Ceramic book pot, see? <laughs> I was right. And it was made by Chatty Nora. Store your magical supplies in this ceramic book pot. Now that I can do also because I have a witchy altar. So um, yeah, really cool. It's one of my favorite items actually from this box. So really nice because it's also very uh, original. You don't have these in other boxes yet. So yeah, really like this one. Then we had the great Library of Savma book sleeve, and this one was made by Pauhami. And that one it was this, I guess. Really beautiful. And, and as I said, it's in a faux lettery um, substance, and in the inside is uh, like a black soft cloth. So I'm pretty sure it can uh, just, uh, it can take some rain or something. So yeah. Um, as I said, this thing, uh, this book sleeve, not this thing, this book sleeve was made by uh, Pohami and it is an officially licensed Stranger Dreamer sleeve. Ooh, yeah, I like it. I like the drawings, especially with the, uh, yeah, since it's a library. So yeah, really cool. Uh, then we had the, this one. This is this uh, the Christmas ornament and it is Letters in Bottles Ornament, designed by Her Paper World, featuring one of her favorite enchanting quotes 
From this is how you lose the time of war. This beautiful decoration will look lovely displayed on your tree or on a drawer handle. Yes, that's also a possibility. You know, on a, on a drawer ha handle or on a door handle. So yeah, really cool. I'm going to put that in my book pot for now so that I don't lose it. Then we have the face mask, which is called this one, this beautiful one with the herbs and stuff on it. Uh, it's called the Herplor face mask and the artwork is from Stacy McAvoy Kant and she's also the one who designs the monthly pins if I'm not mistaken. Inspired by one of our favorite witches being Cersei, keep yourself safe while mixing potions and on or out and about. So yeah, I really like this. Cersei is also one of my favorite witches, mostly because she is um, a Greek witch, not to say the Greek witch, because technically the most famous Greek witch is Hecate, who is also the goddess of magic and crossroads. Um, but yeah, Cersei is a close second and uh, really, really love this one. Uh, really love the, the art design, so yeah, going to wear this one in the next few days for sure. After, of course, first we wash it. I always wash my new face masks to make sure they are germ-free and everything. <laughs> uh, then we have the Starless Sea book plate set. The book plate set, hmm. Oh, I think that's the, those are these. Yes. So those are these and they are all um, three different designs on them. They are also inspired by um, the uh, Starless Sea, I think it is. Yes, the Starless Sea. Um, and as I said, it's you put them in a, a book, write your name on it so that you can always drag down that it was your book. Um, and these were made by Jess Le Design. Uh, make sure you get all your favorite spellbinding reads back from Borrowing Friends by utilizing this gorgeous set of bookmarks book plates. Indeed very gorgeous but honestly I don't borrow out that many books aside from my best friend and my cousins but from all other things I don't borrow out. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't lend out my books so uh, yeah but still real cool. And then we had of course our monthly pin which is this one that is also uh, designed by Stacy McAvoy Kant. And it is inspired by all things pals need to be successful through the world, the words, and the way. Very through. Um, another one to put on my magical pin board. And then, of course, we had our two um, featured reads. Our main book, I'll call it, which is uh, The Once and Future Witches. And then the second one was, of course, Legendborn. Yeah, guys, it won't surprise you, but um, yeah, I adore this box. Um, it's on the one thing, of course, the theme being spellbinding stories. It's full of witches, it's full of magic. The items were amazing. I loved both the books. I loved the book pot, I loved the pin, I loved the face mask, I loved the ornament. I love the book plates, I even love uh, the book sleeve, so yeah, really really great box, really strong box and for now one of my favorite boxes even, so yeah, really great shop. Um, on the back of the spoiler card we also have uh, already a little spoiler for December's box and that one will be a, le a legacy to protect. It's the end of the year and it's been a rough one. So we thought we'd give you all a little treat and bring you a two book month. Ooh, again, two books. Nice. That's right. Both book, box and book only subscribers will be getting two, bo two books this month. Mm, stumbling over my words. You deserve it. Our main book is a YA hardback about the sorority house with of witches. Ooh, more witches. The girls who are members and the secrets they hold and discover. Our Illumicrate edition comes with exclusive sprayed edges, a signed book plate, plus a pin inspired by the book and designed by Stacy McAvoy Kant. Our second book is a YA paperback mystery about a group of hares summoned to the mysterious island home of the grandmother that they never met. 
She disinherited their parents, but is she ready to make amends, or is something more sinister going on? Our edition comes with sprayed edges and a signed book plate. There's, a mystery, there's mysteries to unlock in both our chosen books this month, and we were absol absolutely gripped. The whole Illumi crew raced through these selections. Our featured fandoms are City of Brass, Red, White and Royal Blue, Jade City, The Popular, and yeah, Avatar The Last Airbender. I love Avatar. And it's December, which means it is Rosie Thorne's 88 Mug Month. Ooh, we have also a mug in that one. We've brought you a totally kick-ass box to end the year on, and we hope you're as excited about it as we are. A little sneak peek, our December boxes will all include a print album designed by Ashley and Dears. Ooh, yeah, sounds really interesting. Um, yeah, as I said, I really love this box, but I can't wait for this box either. So, um, yeah, Elimicrate has become one of my favorite book subscriptions together with um, Fairylight, actually, because they, they don't only include beautiful books and really interesting books, but also really cool items. And as I said, these items were just amazing and I can't wait to see what they do with the Avatar The Last Airbender one. I hope it's something either with Momo or either with Appa or either with Sokka or Zuko. You know, Sokka is, is funnier. Sokka would be funnier. Um, but yeah, really, really hope that. Um, feel free to let me know down in the comments what you thought of this box. Um, what was your favorite magical item? Was there something you missed? Um, what did you think about the books? Just let me know down below. As usual, there will be lots and lots of pictures on my Instagram about all these items. Um, and there will also appear a blog post on my blog in both uh, Dutch and English. Um, the links to my social medias is also down, linked down below in the description box. So feel free to check me, uh, to check the photos there and to, of course, give me a follow there too, in case you're interested. What I'll also link down below is, of course, uh, my previous unboxing of an Illumicrate box, uh, plus, of course, their website, in case you also uh, want to subscribe to them. And all that's left to say now is, I think, thank you guys so, so much for watching. Uh, I hope you liked this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a little thumbs up, because it helps me more than you think. And I hope I'll see you guys soon for another magical bookish unboxing. Bye! <music>